Welcome to Inventor Camp Professor. I'm Sydney, your Inventor Camp Professor, with one of hundreds of online video tutorials available free at www.inventorcamp.com 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. My goal is to be your personal Inventor Camp mentor, always available to show you the best ways to get to where you want to go in Inventor Camp. In this session, we'll be showing you our new option called Toolbox. What exactly is Toolbox? Toolbox is a series of canned operations where all you have to do is just give it its geometry according to the shape. It'll automatically give you the correct toolpath without having to fill in many parameters. This is a time-saving operation for those given shapes, such as shown here. If we were just to take a quick look at the operation itself, you'll see that in the toolbox, we have all different types of options over here, such as the first three using the technology of iMachining to do these type of slots. And then we have regular operations, such as for a quick, a simple open slot, a closed slot over here, and so on and so forth, as we'll see as we go through our demonstrations. Now, let's take a look at our first operation. I'll be using the option of spiral open slot, and as you can see, my geometry has to be this edge and this edge over here, two chains. The direction is not important as there are no arrows shown over here. If I were to go into my geometry, you'll see that we have these two chains that create my geometry. The tool that I will be using will be a 10 millimeter end mill, and my levels will be up until this level over there. Now, in my technology, you can see my step down is 10 millimeters. I have a wall and floor offset, which are available to me, as shown over here, and we have control of our spiral cuts. What's our minimum cutting angle and our maximum cutting angle. In addition, we also have our retract height as how far it should go off from the bottom of the floor as it repositions itself and the extension of our tool. If we were to look at the simulation over here, you'll see, and I'll put this in my top view, you see that it worked in a spiral motion in that area over here going through that slot. Now, in our second operation, I'd like to mill out this wider slot. So what I've done here is as follows. I've used the option of spiral open slot wide. My geometry being done in the same way in the, as in the previous operation, having these two chains. I'll be using the same tool, my 10 millimeter end mill, and my levels, the exact same thing as before. In my technology field, we have what we've had before also as far as a minimum cutting angle and our maximum cutting angle, but we also have what we call moat width, which controls the actual width of the channel that is being machined through. And then we also have the width of the step over that's going to be done on the walls itself at the end. We also have the option of working directions either one way or zigzag. In this case, I'll be using zigzag. And now let's take a look at our simulation. As you can see, the part now is being machined with a channel through the middle and then being finished off on the wall itself. Now, for my next operation, I like to work on this closed slot over here. So what I'll be doing here in this operation is I'll be using the option of spiral closed slot wide as shown over here. And in this particular case, you, you can see that on the geometry itself, we have arrows showing also the direction that we have to choose. Note that all we're doing here is choosing this open slot over here without closing it at the end. If we take a look at the geometry itself, you can see that this is exactly what has been done over here. Again, I'll be using my 10 millimeter end mill. In my technology area, we have the exact same thing we had before, also the moat width and the step over in this area over here. Taking a look now at our simulation, 
you'll see that this is exactly what's happened over here. We had the channel forming in the middle and then being cleaned off at the side using zigzag to go back and forth in this. This concludes part one of our lesson in Toolbox. For more Inventor Camp Professor tutorials, please go to our website www.inventorcamp.com and look under the tab called Inventor Camp Professor. Thank you for joining us on Inventor Camp Professor. Take care and have a nice day.